videotape this. I'm going to videotape the fixing of the Halloween coffee pot here. He's going to do it the right way. We're going to put the hole right in the middle. We're going to modify this damn thing. You're going to be able to weld it here too? Yeah. Absolutely. This is going to be new and improved, guaranteed, five to 10,000 years. Don't bend it. That's why I'm doing that. It's nice and round, huh? Yeah, right. Look at that. Is that sexy or what? We're back this out. Well, we're going to back this out. This could be a YouTube video on how to fix a coffee pot. Well, it's going to be. It's going to be a YouTube video on how to fix this particular coffee pot, whatever. Center the, drill, sir. So what, whatever the fuck it is. Hole right in the middle. Yeah. Oh, look at that, huh? You got the right size hole, though. Yeah, well, we're gonna start. Just gonna make a, a, a start. You know, a starting point okay. so we don't walk. Yeah, we don't want to walk. Very fast we don't want to walk. Hold on a second. You need glasses. Who me? Yeah, we're gonna pause. All right, we're back in business here. I got the glasses on. Even though I'm wearing contacts, he says I need glasses. Right. Ready? Yep. It's going to be approximately on center because that disc, as you can see, is not perfectly round. Uh -huh. It's close enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Close enough coffee. for coffee. Good enough for coffee. Good coffee. Now we have our hole started. See? Right. right on center. Yeah, we got a nice little mark. Now, we're going to back this out. We're going to see that screw. Where's the screw? All right, we're going to go pause here. All right, the problem here is you see this little screw. And that was resistance welded to the Yeah, to the this, dome. Was, this was spot welded yep. to the top of this. Well, it was spot welded and, to that dome. I mean to the disc. Yeah. And the pressure of the knob, when you screw it on, put stress on the weld and the weld broke. There's the three little spot welds. And this is what we're going to fix now. All right, there's the cover. Put the cover down. And there we're going to measure this screw. Now we're going to measure the screw so we know what size hole. Well, we're going to pause. You know what? I'm doing this while it's in pause. No. Is it, or is it recording? No, it's recording. It's 632, but we're going to make sure. All right. We're going to measure the screw. We've got the micrometer. The screw measures 159. Yeah, but you got to measure the thread. No, no, that's okay. That's 32 thread. Okay. Okay. I'm doing this for a second. All right. Yeah. And you can see we're doing this nice and safely. I got my glasses on. Everything is kosher. I'm going to pause a second here. So now, All right, now at this point, what are we doing? Now we're drilling a 532nd hole. We're going to drill the hole. All right. Okay. And the, the, with the lathe. Yep. With the lathe. It's actually boring. Because the, the work is turning and not the bit. Yeah, you see with a lathe, right, the, the bit stands still and the work turns. But a little disc is spinning around like a little mother. And then we have a hole. This is brought to you live. This is not a recording. Okay, we got a nice hole in there. All right, kill the power, open the chuck. And he dropped Drop. it. He dropped it, that's right it. Right that's, in the chips. That's one demerit. Right in the chips. Look at that beautiful hole. Well, it's not beautiful yet, it's got burrs. We've got to deburr the hole. Deburr the hole. We need to deburr it. This is a heck of a shop here. He's got all sorts of gizmos, lathes, milling machines, you name it. But we don't have a deburring tool. Oh, you got a deburring tool. All right, it's deburred. Now, we're going to clear the welding bench. It's a mess because everybody drops. All right, we're going to pause. All right, we're cleaning it up because we can't do any brazing to dirty metal, so we're going to rough it up a little bit there. You have coffee in the breeze, you know? Yeah, we'll rough it up, we'll roughen up a little sprue. I'm going to 
putting it on that. See, that's going to get welded in there. All right, we're getting the gas welder going here. This thing looks like uh, oxy acetylene torch, which is a little scary here. But uh, let's we'll see what happens. Let's we'll see what happens. If anything, this is bye bye coffee pot. Here's the beauty. Well, I can tell you is if this is successful, it'll never need fixing again. Look at that torch. Special here. A special brazing rod. All right, let's get special. This here, this is uh, Detective 16 FC. This stuff's probably 50 years old. 50 year old, uh, maybe as old as the coffee pot. No, but if you turn See, it, it, there's nothing like it's like using vintage resistors in a vintage amp. Well, or vintage capacitors. Or vintage capacitors. Right? We use a vintage brazing rod. I don't frighten that easy. Okay. Right, and he wow. claims he knows what he's doing here. So far, it just looks like the 4th of July. Just like that, you're going to use it? I thought you're supposed to get the dark blue. Like longer. No, it's a cone. It's the center cone. The center cone is the hottest. Pointed, yeah, but the center cone is the hottest part of the flame. But you don't want an oxidizing flame. Oh. You want a neutral flame. Uh huh. Like that. Here we go. This is better not splash on my phone and melt it. Melting phones. You can't be melting phones. So what temperature is that flame? Oh, jeez, I don't even remember. You don't know. Look at this. I used to know. You know, you want me to remember all these numbers? 3,000? Yeah, somewhere 2, around. 2,500? Yeah, somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. And hot enough to melt that vintage rod. Hopefully you don't melt the whole dish into a puddle. That we won't do. Turn it with your hand. It's hot. <laughs> smart ass. Real smart ass. It's going to be all sloppy looking like that? Well, I'll polish it up a little bit. Clean it up. Does it really matter? Yeah, the coffee is just to hit that yeah, thing. It'll be fine. It'll be clean. So, I actually like to wish I could brush that off a little more, but it's all right. I'm going to have to cool it down. There's no flux for this? Yeah, there is. So you're going to de deflux it and no, no, yeah. buff it out? Mm-hmm. It's because it's cup shaped. Mm. That's good. Okay. Done? Yeah. It's cooling off. It's yep. done. You got a nice puddle of... Uh, Brass. The brass there. Could. I want to. Now get up this cool. It's got to cool slow, right? Yeah. Let it cool a little bit, then we'll put it in some water to really cool it, but I don't like to. Shop all right, cool. we're going to pause. All right, we're over at the sink here. We're going to cool this thing. Should I think it's standing straight that's cool? Not straight enough. You mean straight enough? Yeah, it's pretty straight. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, smell. All right. Now we go to the wire wheel. 
We're gonna buff this thing out, make it nice and pretty. And then we're gonna clean the mess up a little bit. You should do the screw threads too, they're black. Yeah, I'm going to. That's just a, basically that was just actually probably shit on there that burned off. That's what that is. Right. Yeah. Inside good? Yeah, well it's better than it was, you get that. That glassy like stuff, that's Ooh. the remains of the flux. See the white stuff on the rod is the flux. That's going to come and we'll get rid of all this discoloration. Now we buff it out. Some rouge on the uh, buff. White rouge. White rouge, which is a cutting rouge. It's actually it's. Polishing machine is the wheel happens to be from Harbor Freight. Ooh. So uh yeah, right. the best wheel. Alright, so let's now we've got to clean off all the leftover rouge. Alright, just a little bit of stainless steel cleaner here. Let's not check the torch striker. Some stainless steel cleaner. Now we give it a good cleaning. Don't get it on me. Look how good this stuff is. Stuff to use up in the kitchen. <clears throat> Grind that out a little, but. I think it's good, huh? I don't huh? think it needs to be ground out. It's just going to re remove well. Yeah. Well, let's see how it fits. The handle, where did they put the handle? Oh, you told me he lost the handle. That'd be a, a shame. Now we're screwing it. Time to make the coffee. Well, if that ain't a sexy, perfect repair, I don't know what is. Well, I could put it in the lathe, but it's fine. It'll do the job. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you see what you do when you have a beautiful old product like this that's God knows how old it is. You don't throw it away, you fix it. So anybody has a beautiful coffee pot lid like this and you want your lid welded, 
You send me a note and we do it for you. See you later.